Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin Timms. Uh, we're back with another video. On this video, I get I, I want I want to cover this question because I get it all the time. Okay, what do you use to pull your list? How are you marketing to people? How are you finding these discounted properties? And it all starts with good data. I even put this shit on for you. Data is king, right? That couldn't be more true. Wherever you're getting your data from, you you need to get it from reliable sources because if you're going to spend your money on skip tracing, on cold calling, on texting, on direct mail. You have to have a good list to be able to do it. So on the, I use multiple sources for my list, all right? But on this video, I'm going to show you one way that you can act, you can do it for absolutely zero dollars in terms of pulling that list, right? So I'm going to show you a free way to do it, um, and um, you can then obviously do your direct mail, you can skip trades, you can do all of them things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. Before I do, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel and share this video. I want to get in front of as many people as possible. Um, so I appreciate if you could do that. Right. Let me share my screen. Let me show you how we're going to do this. And you can follow on step by step. And here we go. Right. So first thing is, how are we going to get this for free? Well, you can go to batchleads.io slash Gavin, right? And by doing that and sign up, you have seven days and you can use 5,000 property records for free. So you can get 5,000 records for you then to be able to, again, skip trace, cold call, text, direct mail, whatever you want to do to it, you can get them. And remember, it is free. So if you haven't already got Batch Leads, you're going to go to batchleads.io slash Gavin. And that is how I'm going to get you these free records. And I'm going to show you now how to actually pull the list. So I'm jumping into my account here. Uh, this is my big batch account. You can see that I've got a lot of uh, the properties in here um, and we're going to go and pull a new list. So when you're in here, you're going to go, you've got the dashboard that we're on and then you're going to go to list search. So when we click on that, I don't want to do my local area. You could if you wanted to do your local area. And then this is what we are. Well, this is what you're going to see now. I'm going to do uh, just playing around. Let's do a uh, port. St. Lucie, Florida. Okay. Um, so I'm going to select this and then I am going to hit the search button and see what we get. So as it stands, we have 1,000, sorry, 107,464 properties found for this area, as you see on the map. Now, what I need to do, obviously, I don't want to market to all of them people. So we need to start creating criteria. Now, along the bottom here, you've got expired listings, unknown equity, free and clear. Um, you've got absentees. You've got inherited, pre foreclosures, cash buyers, landlords, vacants. All of these things that you can pull lists immediately by clicking on them and they're going to arrive. Right now, it's showing all of them together. And that's why we're getting this count. But before we do that, we need to create criteria, okay, that is going to find us a discounted property if that's what we're trying to do now maybe you want um you know own a finance deal so what list would you pull for that you'd go for the free and clear list right what if you want to do lease options cash offers uh own a finance maybe you're going to go to vacants that'd be a good list uh maybe if you're looking at buying more rental properties you could go to absentee owners right or you want to do fix and flip and you could also do owner occupied owner occupied it might bring less leads in uh but it will be bigger deals as well so there's all these pros and cons that you can kind of uh you know go to depending on what you're trying to do uh in your investing business now i'm going to keep it really simple and show you some of the criteria that i like to use so once we've got this area up we're going to go on to filter uh we're going to then go to here the uh the, the status and we're going to do uh let's say i could do in-state or out-state absentee but i'm going to do absentee owner now i could do vacant i could do any i'm going to do any status we're going to do residential okay so i could do commercial you can see here you can scroll through them but i want residential and we could do property types we could do you know uh we, we could leave that blank if we wanted to take anything but i want single family uh maybe we'll have what else could we do i want duplexes and triplexes and quads uh multi-family Let's say I was happy with that. You could tick more if, if you wanted. And what it's going to do here on the right hand side is actually going to start creating this criteria for you. All right. And then when we click apply, that number of one hundred and seven 
107,000 will actually change. So what else do we need? I'm a single family. I've got my property type. Uh, let's do ownership info. I want to make sure that these, these properties have been owned for, let's say, six or more years. OK, I'm going to do six or more years. Uh, I could do, you know, corporate own like company own like llc's individual now depend on what you're doing if you were going to do llc's it doesn't matter if you do llc's and uh, and uh, individual if you're going to mail to them but if i'm going to skip trace okay i like to pull this different and keep them separate so i could put these together or i would do individual then i'd come back in here and then i'd do the llc's because guess what that's now actually okay um we'll skip trace llc's the the hit rate uh, will not be one of my by hit rate will not be as good as the individual. And let's say you might get 70, 89 percent of numbers back on individually owned, and then the LLCs might be you know 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. So it won't be as much, but still really, really good. So for this example, I'm going to do individually owned, um, and we're not going to do any more on there. What else? Equity. I want to make sure I have equity, especially I want to buy these things cash right now, right? I want to cash, I want to buy them cash, I want to wholesale them, or I want to flip them, right? I want to take them down, I want to do a fix and flip. Um, so what do I need? I want equity. So I want to do 40 to 100 percent equity. And again, when I click off this, you can see all this criteria on the right here. Okay, building up. Um and I might be happy with that. Now, I could go into more if I wanted. I could go to beds and baths and square footage. Um, but I don't want to do that right now, right? I, I want to take anything in that area because the market's so hot. I know I can pretty much move anything. And also, as well, you have to be careful. This is a little tip here. When you select certain beds and baths, it's all about how the county tracks that data. Because if they don't track the beds and baths, at the county, when you put it in, your your data might go to zero. So if, it, if that happens to you, you go, hold on, I have no records. That doesn't make sense. It's probably because one of your filters is not being tracked at the county. So just keep that in mind. All right. So we built this criteria. Let's say that we're happy with it. Now I'm going to go and apply filters. Let's see what happens to this number. load in all right we have now 4300 okay so you can see the difference here well what if i just wanted vacant i could just click this button down at the bottom here and then i could just take these vacant houses at 251 properties i could do uh, absentees i could do show me free and clear houses if you wanted to based on that criteria again i wanted to do owner occupied i could just focus on unknown equity um I could go pre foreclosures. There's seven of them, right? So you can pick whatever you want. For this example, I'm gonna do vacant, right? I want to I want to market to these vacant properties. So I highlight this, you're gonna see the number. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to add. Hold on, I've got to select the properties. So don't go to add yet. I'm gonna say select all. So now they're all all uh, highlighted. Add. Now I'm going to go and create a list. Now, do I want to put this in a, an existing list or a new list? So I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to call this for Lucy Bacon, okay? And I'm going to save it. All right, now I've got 251 properties that I have now just pulled. So I say to close. Now, if I come over here and I go to my properties, and I go and search, go to filter, here it is, apply. Now here is my list, okay? If I select this, it's now gonna show me that there's 251 properties that we actually just uh, pulled. Now if I go to actions, I can actually skip trace this list and send it to skip trace. Um, I can export into an Excel file if you wanted to do direct mail to it. Um, obviously, while we're in that, it makes sense to send it to skip trace. Okay. So if I send this file to skip trace, it's going to give me the cost here and it's going to tell me, um, you know, the, 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 the different things. Now, the good thing is with, let me just come back to you real quick. The good thing is, 
stop doing that. The good thing is with with using back, if I've already skipped, I'm not paying for the same data. This is really important. So let's say I pull a list for Florida today, and then in a month I pull another list and another list. I'm stacking them against each other, so I'm not paying for someone that I've already. If I've skipped Bob at 123 Main Street a month ago, and then I come to do it and Bob's in this list again, it's not going to charge me for that skip trace again. So I'm only paying for the data, okay, the, the, the new data, which is really, really important, okay? So I'll, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually do the skip trace inside, right? So that's what you want to do. But that is how you're going to pull your free list, okay? So make sure you follow them steps, all right? And uh, remember, give me a like, drop me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.